Sada Corner is back and I can't wait to see her on screen. Let's talk about this. What's up everybody? Today I'm here to talk about Terminator 6 and the new leaked photos of Sada Corner. Linda Hamilton is back and she looks awesome. So before I get started, I would like to say a big thank you for my new Patreon, JPH. Thank you very much for your support. Anyways, let's get to it. So she is back. You know, Linda Hamilton was probably, she was so awesome in that role. You know, if you have seen my top 10 female uh, heroes of all time, she's definitely on that list. You know, I've always felt very inspired when I watched this character. However, last time we seen her on screen, she was portrayed by Emilia Clark. And I'm sorry, Emilia Clark. I do think that you were really an awesome uh, mother of dragons. However, I don't think she could pull off a Sada Corner. She was definitely no Sada Corner, but it's also a lot to do with the script itself. You know, that movie was, everything about it was just terrible. You know, uh, the, just the fact that John Connor was a Terminator, just none of it made sense. This new movie, Terminator 6, will start right after where T2 end, ended. And the great thing is that we know a lot of people, you know, T2 is probably the fan favorite. And after that, we did have other Terminators, but they're just not as good as Terminator 1 and 2. Now, the first time we meet Lyndon Hamilton, the original Terminator, it's been what? 33 years ago. Yes. Yeah, so she first played the role a long time ago and now she has 61 and she still look great. So if you have a look at the, I have an article over here where it's called Digital Spy. And uh, the article is just saying uh, Terminator 6 is bringing back Linda Hamilton to the franchise of Sarah Corn. And now we finally got our first look of our own set pictures. And oh my God, I think she is rocking it. You know, she's this woman is at 61 and it gets me really excited. She's better. She's, she, she, she looks more fit than myself, you know. And look at her. She is absolutely amazing. That's Sarah Corner right there. You know, she's very fit. I love the vest. You know, I love like the gun that she's wearing. And you know, I am so excited about this film. You know, we're gonna have, again, uh, Arnold teaming up with Linda Hamilton. And I think this is going to be epic. You know, hopefully this will be another, you know, this will be on par with T2. And I think like, look at her hair, you know, the short hair and white. Uh, I think she's rocking every single thing on this outfit. You know, I love the glasses as well. And I am so, so excited. I cannot wait to see, uh, you know, what are they going to do with this new film? And because also we know the last time we see the Terminator, he on T2, you know, he he died. You know, we just see the thumbs up at the very end. Now, the awesome thing about the Terminator franchise is that they play with time travel and that give them a, a perfect excuse to bring Arnold back. Uh, you know, and it's just, it's really, it's really exciting to see this big team of, you know, uh, of this massive successful film back there. You know, I think she looks great. Just looking at her, it gets me really excited. I can't wait to see, you know, uh, how the whole thing is going to play out. Let's see what else this article is saying here. Uh, the new pictures show her character with shorter cropped ash blonde hair, body armor and pump action shotgun with will with no, which she'll no doubt be putting to good use in James Cameron's reboot. And, you know, and how awesome that we have James Cameron back. Because again, when you start, when you go away from the, 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 the main guy's vision, then we get Genesis and all these other Terminators. They're really, you know, they could be great action here and there, but the, the story itself is not very compelling, you know. Uh, and, and the last film was a complete flop. So it's awesome to have James Cameron back. You know, it's really awesome to have everyone. I can't, guys, I cannot tell you how much I am excited about this. Let's see what else they're saying here. However, the new film is taught to, to reckon most of the franchise messy time traveling lore with creator James Cameron saying it will be a direct sequel to Terminator 2. Perfect, that's awesome. That's exactly what I wanna see. Forget about all those messy other films you know speaking to the hollywood reporter the director explained we're pretending the other films were a bad dream <laughs> wouldn't that be great if they did the same thing with the last jedi james cameron is the man 
or an alternative timeline, which is permissible in our motiv multiverse. That's incredible. Great. This was really driven more by the director, uh, Tim Miller, than anybody, surprisingly, because I came in pretty agnostic about uh, where we took it. The only thing I insisted on was that we somehow revamp it and reinvent it for the 21st century, you know, and it, James Cameron is very smart when it comes to franchises, you know, he still holds the top uh, box office, you know, with Avatar and then followed by Titanic and I think the third one is the Avengers. So I cannot even tell you. Last time we saw it was 1999, a long time ago. Hamilton, who was married to Carmelton, oh, actually, they were married at the time of the movie, uh, previously refused to return to the franchise. Oh, that's very interesting. So perhaps that's why they couldn't bring her back, because they were having, you know, couple problems. But anyways, it's been a long time. She's probably over it. He's probably over it. But anyways, speaking about Terminator 3 to MTV News, uh, Hamilton said, I knew my character arc was so complete in the first two, and in the third one was neglected grateful character, negligible character, negligible. Whoops, that's a tongue twist there. She died halfway through and there was no time to mourn her. It was kind of disposable, so I said no, thank you. Ha! Huh, isn't she smart? See, this is the good the good thing. When you when you get the, a good cast and they understand the character, you know, uh, you know, and they don't want to go back to thank God she didn't go back. Can you imagine just seeing her on the third the first of all the third movie was terrible. Second of all, if you just have her there and then have her die for no reason, uh, she, I am so glad that she did not accept to go back, you know, because right now at least we're going to have a very pleasing uh, return of Sarah Corner, and I can't not wait. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know. Are you excited to see Terminator Arnold and Linda Hamilton back on screen? Linda Hamilton back as Sarah Corner. I'd love to hear your comments. Don't forget to leave your thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!